Welcome to Life with Bill Sif. I'm your host, Bill Sif. Friggin' right I am. Boys, girls, peoples. Tonight on the show, I got a couple things to go over with you. First thing I'm gonna go over with you real quick is, uh, how to cock over something. Fuck. Make sure you subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell bar button. What I want to talk to you about is how much I've been cocking you over. I know we haven't had any projects in the garage lately, which I totally get. I know we haven't been playing with many RCs lately, and I know I've been sewing, hey? And I know that sewing isn't something you really want to see. Frig, no, I don't. Don't worry, I do, boys. I know. But just so you know, over here at Bilsa's, it hasn't been the way it normally is, eh? Uh, Mama's got something wrong with her shoulders, so she's having a hard time working right now. So she's got cut back hours at work, which makes, you know, the funds a little lower. YouTube costs money to make, you know, you, you gotta buy project pieces and parts and this and that and the other thing to friggin' make stuff. So that's why I haven't been in the garage much this year and not working on the Easy Go because the Easy Go takes money, you know, it takes money to buy parts for that thing, boys. The golf cart, you know, decent there is pretty decent. I want to do a roof on them this year, but I can't do it this year. I gotta wait because I've been fixing up the house a little bit. I've been painting the rooms and making curtains and making stuff decent around here. You gotta step back sometimes and think to yourself, wait a minute, mom's not working as much. There's not as much money coming in to blow on goodies. So we gotta kick back, save our pennies and not blow it on stuff. So I apologize if you guys are wondering what's going on and why there hasn't been any friggin' in the garage videos and stuff like that. That's why I can't spend money for YouTube right now. I can't do it. So hopefully you understand that and you stick around because things will get better, boys. They always do. Everybody's got that thing going on in their life that kicks you back a little bit and makes you not yourself. So I'm doing my best. Please stay around. Please don't leave the channel. I love you guys big time and I want you to be here. But just bear with me. I'll slap out the odd video here and there. And I know you're saying you don't need you don't need to buy stuff for content, but really you do because you can only talk so much like this, eh? Other than that, things are good. Hey, work's busy and this and that and the other friggin' thing. So I wanted to get on here and actually talk to you about that. And hopefully, like I said, you stick around and leave a comment down below. If you know what I'm saying. Leave a comment down below if you don't give two shits. And leave a comment down below if, you, uh, if you're a new subscriber. Why wouldn't you? But go back to this sewing machine real quick. I do want to do one thing on here. There's been some videos on oiling a, a sewing machine a singer of this air but i wanted to make a short video on how to oil it because every video on the internet is just longer than dick i can't make a short video on it now because i just gabbled for freaking 20 minutes but i'll leave it in the freaking description that if you want to watch this video you go to this this number i don't know what number it is yet but i'll know when i edit when i edit it freaking right i will so we'll do that but careful sorry about that apologize that was really rude but hey it is what it is. We had pizza for dinner, and that's what happens, boys. Going back to this thing right here. Basically, if you take this one screw off, this cover comes off. Watch this. It's pretty slick, it is. Now you stay there for a minute. I know I got thread on here, so just bear with me because I don't want to take my thread out. I just threaded it. I thought of this after I threaded the goddamn thing. But if you take this screw out like that, this, this plate pops off. So basically, in here, all you need oil is this shaft right here, this shaft right here, this spring and right in here i oiled that's it for this section okay so it's not a big deal really it's really quick to do really easy to do and this that and the other freaking thing so we'll put this back together real quick like so up top hold on we gotta take her apart boys <laughs> I put a little bit of oil around here and here. I put a little bit of grease on that right there. Um, there's an oil hole right there, which I did. And that oil is this shaft part section here. Now down here, I don't know if you know this or not, but there's some holes in here, boys. There's some holes right there and right here beside the needle. Those are actually oil holes. I traced them last night and they go right down to the old shaft of Ruski. So you can put a couple dabs in there and there and there. And that oil is the bottom end. So in here, basically, you just got to lift the dauber out and the only oil right down the center of where that thing turns. And that's it on there. You don't do nothing else in there. Just make sure you blow it out and you give it a good blow job. So there's no fluffies in there. Now you don't want fluffies in there. So make sure you do that. 
and you're good to go. But that's all there is to do in oil maintenance on this, this sewing machine. I got a story for you here. Before I got into sewing, I didn't know where to get a sewing machine from. So I talked to Rob, one of my buddies, and I said, hey, keep an eye open for a sewing machine. He says, oh, okay, no problem, because, you know, he worked for a place that sells sewing machines and fixes them and stuff like that. So he called me today and he said, Bill, guess what? I was like, what? Let me guess, you found me a sewing machine. He's like, yep, I did. I found you a Kenmore sewing machine. I'm like, ah, oh, for frig's sakes. I was like, okay, well, I got one, and I really don't want to spend money on one right now, but how much do you want for it? Because I told you to look for one for me, and now I feel bad. So he says, oh, I only want 50 bucks for it, and the thing's mint. I guess I'll buy it. So if anybody's looking for a sewing machine, I'm going to sell it for... Hundred dollars, <laughs> still a good deal. If there's anybody on here, I'll sell it to you for fifty bucks what they paid for it. But basically, I'm putting it, and I'm gonna put it up for sale for hundred dollars, which I should be able to get no problem. It's a, it's, I think, four hundred fifty dollar Kenmore sewing machine, which is mint. So I'll show you that when I get it, and then you guys can help me sell it. Why wouldn't you? I know you want to. Don't lie to me. Lie to your friends, boys. I wonder why that's all crooked and dicked. I should have checked that too, because I think there's a reason why that's all crooked and dicked. If you wonder what I'm talking about here, my little skid thing here isn't quite straight with a doodad. I'm just wondering if there's an adjustment in here for that, but I don't really see one, so no, there isn't. Unless that's it up here. Huh, I don't think so, boys. Really ain't no thinky, Zoe. No, that's just pressure, so that doesn't do that. Okay, no big deal. I think it might be just a foot bent. It's all good. It's all friggin' good. Girls, peoples, stick around, stay tuned. There will be more videos to come. Probably even this weekend. Who knows? Eh? It depends what I got going on. Leave your comments down below. I gotta make some more. I gotta make some pillowcases and stuff for the bed. I'm painting the knobs right now for my closet doors, so you can see them. You know, because the doors are white, so I want red knobs. But other than that, we gotta start on the other bedroom, which is number three. I'm just gonna start to clean it up and strip it down, but I'm not gonna paint it right now because, like I said. The money's tight, so we gotta friggin' hang tight on that deal. Dealio. Until mom starts feeling better, hey? Eh? My string's almost out of this needle, boys, and I don't wanna lose it because if I lose it, I'm cocked. Because it takes these old eyes fucking 20 minutes to find a hole. Captain, there I got it. Whew, that was close. But anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good day like I am. It is Friday, and this is what the dirty old Bilsa does on a Friday night. I should get off my ass and go see Steve, hang out and shoot the shit for a while, but I'm gonna sew instead because it's relaxing. It doesn't cost me a dime to sit here and go, hey? Frig, no, it don't. But enjoy your weekend. Don't do anything I'm not doing, and uh, you know what to do for now. Y volver, volver.